Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Good evening, sir. Hey, good evening, Edgar. How are you? I'm fantastic, ready for the class. <laughs> excellent, excellent. What did you do today? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Marlena. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and happy. Oh, nice, nice. It was a good day. Yes, because today is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday to you. Thank you. That's so wonderful. Are you going to yes. celebrate? Did you celebrate with your family? Yes, I celebrated. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, life is such a good thing. It's a blessing. Life is a blessing. Yes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Use the phrasal verbs. Correct. Using the phrasal verbs. Can you give me an example of the of one of the phrasal verbs? Can you give me an example? Can somebody give me an example of the phrasal verbs they remember from yesterday's class? One example. One example. For example, turn off the computer. Turn off the computer. Good, good. Another example. Turn down the TV. Turn down the TV. Excellent, excellent. Another example. Put the coffee cup on the table. Put the coffee cup on the table. Good. Selma? I have put off my English class. Put off my English class. Excellent. Another example. Another example. Somebody, somebody. Pick up your books. Pick up your books. Very good. Very good. All right. So we looked at different uh, types of phrasal verbs yesterday. Uh, so phrasal verbs are normally in the informal conversation with uh, informal English. So today, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at section number two. And we're going to be looking at the countable and non-countable nouns. Countable and non-countable nouns. What are some countable nouns? Who can give me some examples of some countable nouns? The shoes. Shoes. One shoe, two shoes, three shoes. Very good. Shoes. Book. Non countable nouns, for example, can be the water. Books. Okay. Uh, right now, we're going to do just countable nouns. And then after that, we're going to do non countable nouns. Okay. Another example of the countable noun. Cell phone. Cell phone. Good. Cell phones. Okay. Another example of the countable nouns. The table. Tables. Tables. Okay. Another example. Chairs. Chairs. Tables. 
chairs. Good, good. Another example. Flower. Flowers. Flowers. Good. Another example. Uh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Mm, another example. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Example, example. Laptops. TV. Laptops. Ah, TVs. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Work. Work. No, fork. Oh, fork. Forks, correct. Yes. Another example. House. House. Houses. Yes. Cars. Cars. T-shirt. T-shirts. Good. Eyes. Eyes. Yes. Eyes, one eye, two eyes, three eyes. Yes, that's good. Uh -huh. Pencil. Pencil. Pencils. Okay. Earrings. Earrings. Good. What? What else? Notebooks. 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 Very good. All right. So these are uh, examples of countable nouns. Um, now I would like for you to tell me some examples of the non countable nouns. Non countable nouns. Sugar. All right. Rice. Water. Non. Okay, give me a second. Non. Now. All right. So we said uh, water, sugar, rice. What else? Coffee. Friends. Coffee. Milk. Milk. Oil. Oil. Sing. Uh, excuse me? Sing. Sand. Arena. Oh, sand. Okay. Sand. Uh -huh. What else? Oil. Oil. Ya lo dijeron. Uh -huh. What else? Salt. Salt. Good. Good. Traffic. I'm sorry? Traffic. Traffic. Okay. Traffic is not countable. Money. Uh, sauce. Money. Sauce. Space. Electricity. Stars. Stars. Oh. Uh, well, stars actually falls under countable. But it's an exception. It is obviously uncountable, but it falls in the countable section. Uh, we could say space, space, gold, silver. What else? Rain, 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 rain. Okay. All right, so these are some examples of the non-countable nouns. Now, <clears throat> how do I identify the countable nouns and the non-countable nouns? How do I identify that? How do I know if the word is countable or uncountable? When you smash. Much, very good. Much and many. 
Much, yes, much is for non-countable, right? For example, you say, uh, I drink much water, non-countable, right? You could say, uh, uh, I like much money, right? Non-countable. Or, or you could say, uh, uh, there is much space in the universe, for example. All right, let's look at the video and listen and take notes. Let's look at the video and listen and take notes. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that, and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars. But I think that the biggest problem is parking. 
There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non count? Uh, police officers, is that count or non count? Um, buses, is that count or non count? And pollution, is that count or non count? All right, guys. So for this activity, I want you to identify what I would like for you to do is I want you to describe your city. For example, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, please. Somebody, let me have a volunteer. Anybody, one volunteer, please. Just one, just one volunteer. Let me get a volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Me? All right, Jenny, excellent, Jenny, thank you. Uh, Jenny, I would like for you to ask me the first question. Ask me the first question. Is there a lot, a lot of traffic in your city? Yes, there is a lot of traffic in my city. Uh, I live in San Salvador City. Uh, there is traffic exactly like around seven in the morning. It's a lot of traffic. Um, sometimes like around 12 noon, there is traffic everywhere. And usually like around four or five uh, p.m., there is also a lot of traffic. So yeah, San Salvador is full of traffic. All right, thank you, Jenny. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. One more volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, Marlene, ask me the next question. Are there enough police officers in your city? Yes, there are. And nowadays, I notice that there are a lot of police officers in cars, pickups, motorcycles, on foot, on the bus. You know, soon we're gonna have, I don't know, on bicycles, uh, which is a good thing, right? Because the more security people have, the better it is uh, for our country, for our safety, for our daily activities, you know, going to work, coming back home, going to the super selectos, visiting your friends and your family. If you want to go out, to a club, a bar, a shopping center, you wanna visit your friends, it's okay, no problem. So for me, I agree that there are more police officers in my city. All right, eso vamos a hacer, guys. Van a preguntarse y responder estas preguntas acerca de sus ciudades. Any questions? Any questions? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Wow. Ask the question. Some questions and answer the question. That's, that's right. Very good, Jenny. Very good, Marlene. One student 
is going to ask the question. The other student is going to respond to the questions. And then vice versa. The other student is going to ask the question and then the other student is going to respond to the question. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, all right, yeah. let's go, let's go. I'm going to share uh, so that somebody can share the screen. Oh. Oh. Hi, hi, Sylvia, <laughs> Tatiana. Hi, uh, this video, I saw this video um, in the middle one. This, oh, really? Uh, yeah, before. Okay, I'll take a look at it. We're going to do a, it's a review. It's a review. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. Okay, all right, ready? Let's go. You have three minutes, three minutes. All right, you got to press where it says join or entrar. Join or entrar. All right, guys, click join or entrar to the meeting. I see that Janet and Leslie, you should be working with Selma. Okay, I see Neftali came back. All right, work in pairs. Hey, are you alone? Yeah. Yes, teacher. I am alone right now. I don't know why. Uh, let, me put, let me put somebody here with you in number one. Okay, thank you. And then I see that uh, Carmen, there she is. Hi, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. I don't know. No, no, no. Solo que, que si decía en el chat tampoco lo mandó. No, no lo mandó. You don't have the questions? No. Okay. All right, give me a second. Teacher, you can share the screen with us. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna go back to the main sesh. Okay. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. One volunteer, one volunteer. Okay, who can describe your city? Who wants to describe your city? Uh, me teacher, if you want. 
Okay, let me have uh, Roberto and Sylvia describe your CD. Um, okay, uh, right now I'm living in Soyapango. So, you know, uh, it's a lot of traffic in the morning. It's crazy. Uh, I get up very early, like uh, 3, 3 e EM and because if he, I go in late, uh, I never gonna show up in my job. What, so what time? Why. What time do you wake up? Uh, I wake up at three a.m. and I I get out of here like uh, yeah like at three three thirty. Huh. Yeah, I mean, because if he. If he, I go in late, uh, I'm never going to sh show up in my job. Wow. So, yeah, that's crazy. And, and what, what time do you what time do you start work? Uh, 7, 7 a.m. Wow. Yeah. So it's like uh, three hours. So three, three, three hours almost. Wow. So it's, it is. It is. It's, it's a pango. But uh, the only the only thing that the good thing is uh, right now I buy a motorcycle, and okay. the motorcycle is is a little bit more faster. You know, I am okay. I am not I am not driving crazy. You know, I drive <laughs> like a like a like everybody. You know, uh -huh. I think the motorcycle is very dangerous. Yeah, I know that it's, it's dangerous, but uh, I don't have a choice right now, you know, because I have a, I have my car, but uh -huh. in my car is very slow motion, you know, it's yeah. like it's like a slow motion. So yeah, yeah. So that's why I buy a motorcycle and 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 it's a little bit more easy. Okay. okay. To to show up to to my job. Wow. So, yeah so that's hard that's difficult yeah, yeah. and i think uh, that's the only thing i can say right now about that the my city you know yeah. and now my, my city is 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 very quiet you know i don't have we don't have uh problems you know yeah. you know you know yeah. what i'm talking about you know yeah it, okay all right excellent excellent uh, Thank you, yeah. Robert. Thank okay. you, Robert, for your participation. Okay. And I'm sorry to hear, man, that you got to wake up at 3.30 so you could be at your job by 7. That's crazy. But, you know, that is life, El Salvador. That's life in El Salvador. Welcome to El Salvador reality, right? We need a helicopter or, or a jet to go to work nowadays. All right. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Sylvia, please tell us a little bit about your neighborhood and how are things going on over there i am well i live here in santa Ana, and it's a beautiful place because you can find near uh, very close to your house and restaurants and smart supermarkets you can go to the park and enjoy with your family also, the, the weather is very cool in the morning, but it doesn't, and it's used to hot. Okay. It's, a, it's a safe place for me, okay. but it's not too dangerous that other place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, cool. All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, uh, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to be looking at this section right here, which is going to be coming from section 2.1, infinitive and gerunds, for uses and purposes. Infinitives and gerunds. Infinitives and gerunds. Vamos a ver el video, and then we're going to talk about it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain 
that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the Okay. So let's take a look at this right here. Infinitives or gerunds. The meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. All right. So this is what we call the infinitive of purpose, right? It gives you the purpose of why you do something. For example, I say, um, I give you an example. I go to the gym. I go to the gym. Why? What is my purpose? Oh, I go to the gym to exercise. All right, so this is the infinitive of purpose. Uh, or, for example, you say, I study English. I study English. Why? Why do you study English? Oh, I study English to get a good job. That's my purpose. Okay. Or you say, uh, I I diet. I diet. Yo hago dieta. Why? Why? I diet to lose weight. All right? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is the purpose. Um, now, gerunds, I use my computer for sending emails. That is the purpose of the machine. Uh, for example, you say, I use my car for what? 
for traveling to work. Oh, okay, that's the purpose of my car. What is the purpose of my car? Traveling to work. Okay, or you can say also cars are used for working. Or you can say, uh, I, hi, I use, yes, my cell phone for calling clients, right? Or Teacher, you can, yes. Sorry, sorry. In the same example with the purpose, I go to the gym to exercise. We're gonna use Jaron and say, I go to the gym to doing exercises. No, right? Uh, no, 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 no. No, in this case, no. If we use use, it's only the infinitive. You cannot mix it. Because okay. in one, in the infinitive, you have the preposition to and the base form of the verb. Oh, uh, in the gerunds, uh, you have the preposition for, for, and then you have the gerund, the verb okay. in ing. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes. Okay. Uh, any questions on these examples, guys? Questions, questions on these examples? Somebody have any questions in regards to this example? Anybody? Question? Nobody? Okay. Everything okay, teacher. All right, that's okay. Uh, teacher. I, yes. A, a infinitive use two and the gerund use four. Correct, correct. If you say, for example, if I say, for example, uh, I, uh, I clean my house, I clean my house. Why? What is the purpose? Oh, I clean my house to live well. Right, so here in the infinitive, the preposition is to. But if I say to you, uh, I use my laptop for what? For working. Then in this case, the gerund, the preposition is for and the verb goes in the ing mm -hmm. all right guys i have to uh take the attendance right now so when i call your name please say presence when i call your name please say presence I'm going to share with you the image. Okay, you got it. Uh, let me have the first participant. This one is Benjamin. Benjamin. I'm here. Excellent, Benjamin. Today is the 21st. Uh, Brenda. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Carmen. Carmen, absent, okay. 
Edgar. Edgar. Excellent. Elisa. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Giselle. Giselle. Awesome. Janet. 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 Absent. Hello, teacher. Oh, Janet is present. Thank you, Janet. Jose. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Villanueva. Present, teacher. Excellent. Leslie. Present. Awesome. Maria. Present, teacher. Good job. Marlene. Present, teacher. Thank you. Melissa. Present. Very good. Michelle. Present. Awesome. Neftali. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nimrod. Present. Excellent. Oscar. Santana. Oscar. Ah, Oscar Santana. Present, teacher. Excellent. Oscar Zambrano. Present, dijo en el chat. Okay, thank you. Roberto. A present teacher. Very good. Sara. Present. Excellent. Selma. Present teacher. Good job. Sylvia. Present teacher. Awesome. Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yenny. Present teacher. Fantastic. All right. So today we got absent. We got absent. Carmen Santillana is the only absent. Excellent. We got good attendance today. Good job. Good job. Okay, guys, for this activity, uh, any questions? Any questions in regards to this topic? Any no. questions in regards to this topic? Questions, questions? No. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here where it says añade una publicación. Then you're going to go where it says titulo. And you're going to copy infinitives and gerunds for uses and purpose. Para usos y propósitos. And you're going to give me five examples. for uses and five examples for purposes. And then you're gonna go NVR. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, quiero que lo hagan en grupo. Un participante tiene que compartir su pantalla. Ready, let's go.
tiene que darle donde dice ingresar o join o entrar. Le tiene que aparecer un botoncito en el centro de su pantalla que dice entrar, join o ingresar. Entrar, join o ingresar. La pantalla. No sé quién lo va a compartir. Marlene. Ah, ok. Vaya. Ven. Sí. Vale. The first one can be I use my book for the All right, ¿quién va a compartir la pantalla? Nadie me contesta. Hola, hola, Carmen. Hola, hola, Giselle. Hi. Hey, hi. Una tiene que compartir la pantalla. Ok. ¿Cuál era el...? ¿Alguien puede compartir la pantalla? Yo, pero era de la sección 2, ¿verdad? Hi, Elisa, puede compartir la pantalla a alguien. Oh, estoy de ese celular, pero ya la quiero ver si puedo ahorita. Sí. ¿Cuál es? Hello. I have a problem with my cell phone. ¿Cuál era el? Es el 2.1. Ok. Dos puntos. Ah, sí, pues sí, este es. Hi, Jenny. Uh, ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? ¿Quién va a compartir la pantalla? Lo que tenemos que escribir aquí en la, en la aquí donde dice discusión. Ahí creo que tenemos que escribir, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí, ahí lo hicimos ayer, donde estábamos haciendo los ejercicios, en la discusión, escribíamos las respuestas. Uh -huh. Sí, aquí dice cinco ejemplos usando... Ah, lo que acaba de hacer él ahí en los ejemplos. Ah, de los okay. y los... Vaya. Disculpen, hoy sí me escuchan. Sí, sí, hoy sí la escuchamos. Ah, gracias, que no, no tenía bien conectado mis audífonos. Perdón, gracias. Eh, I use my laptop uh -huh. to connect oh. Y vamos a hacer, dijo, cinco para uso y cinco, cinco para uso. Sí. Ah, ok, ok, ok. To connect to my class. Eh, ¿Otro? Mm, I watch my, that plot my family. I qué? I watch. ¿Usted lava? Uh -huh. The clothes or the rope, my family. Uh -huh. Yo lavo la ropa de mi familia. 
como uh -huh. es uso, ¿verdad? No, entonces, de, por family, por. decir, I use my, my dry my machines, machines to, to, to laundry the clothes. Oh, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. it's, it's okay. I use my wash machine. I use to. I use my I use my wash machine to wash my ah, my Ese clothes. sería en un propósito, ¿verdad? Ajá, ese sería el propósito. Ah, sí, es que yo le estaba dando un ejemplo de uso. <ríe> ah, ok. <ríe> Perdón. Bye. Entonces sería, eso estaría bien entonces. Wash, ajá. De eh, la ropa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, no sé si nos compartimos los números de WhatsApp para practicar después. Sí, estaría okay. bien. Perfecto. Regálemelo. 7293. Sí. 2793-2704. Jenny, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. ¿El otro? 7628-2521. Carmen. ¿El otro? Vale, voy a dar el mío, 79. 79. 58. 58. 60. 60. 04. ¿Usted es Karen 7293? Sí, sí. Karen ah. Bernal, porque hay otra Karen. <ríe> ah, pues voy a hacer un grupo de nosotras para que, si no lo Vente. terminamos. Vaya, ok. Otro. That's okay. Eh, hola, compañero. Otro ejemplo. Sí, un grupo me podrían incluir. Vaya, deme el número. Ay, disculpe. 78. Uh -huh. 75. 31, 24. ¿Cómo se llama? Ahí está. Sí, muchas gracias. Ok. Eh, no sé si va a dar un ejemplo usted, Edgar. Eh, sí, eh, podría ser. Yeah, I go to school for studying. English. Ese sería para los gerundios. Uh, sí. Ok. I go, go to school. For studying English. For studying English. Studying. Y en el verbo. Studying. Studying. English. Otro. Yo voy a dar mi número para que me agregue al... al, sí, al vaya, está bien. Dígamelo. 7974. 5943. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Elisa. Ok. Eh, Otro ejemplo. No sé si va a dar uno usted, Elisa. Uh, yes, uh, I use my laptop for... Está, no, pero está ya está. For work in my home. Or ok. Working, ¿verdad? Working. For working. In my home. I use my laptop. For working. In my house. <coughs> Otro ejemplo. Uh, llevamos dos de cada uno, llevamos. Vaya, en en ah, uso a podría a ser I wash my car to go to work. No. Sería I use my car to go to, to es my que work. Eso es en propósito. Siempre no. I use dijo que ah, sí. para propósito. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y para el uso, pues, como que estamos hablando presente. I wash my car to go to work. No. Sí, sí. Pa y podría ser en, 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 en propósito. Eh, I use my, my, my phone to, no sé cómo se dice. Con or or to. I Quiero dar a entender. Vaya. I use my phone to communicate with my parents. Ah, 
para decir yo uso mi celular para comunicarme con mis padres? Ese sería ¿Cómo sería ahí? para... En, a ese sería en propósito, pero no sé cómo va a ir si I use my phone to, ¿cómo se dice? Comunicarme, comunicar. <laughs> Ah, sí, creo. With my parents. With my parents. To communicate with my parents. I, I use my cell phone. Mm -hmm. To To. communicate. Mm -hmm. With my With my parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Um. use my cell to communicate with my parents. Uh -huh. Communicate, is it communication? Communicate. Uh -huh. Communicate. Uh Miren, y no sé si hago el grupo después que terminemos la clase para que lo pongamos eso, a añadir la publicación -huh. o qué. Sí. Como No sé si sí, tienen sería tiempo. bien. Ok, nos faltan dos eh, de propósito. I'm going to the gym to, to exercise. No, eso sería for exercise. Sería verdad. For exercise. Y por hacer por exercise my body. For exercise my body. Ok. I'm go to the gym for exercise my body. Uh, I'm cooking so I'm cooking today. No, for my family, no, 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 no. Uh, for sale, the lunch. I use my motorcycle to go for a ride. I'm cooking, I'm cook. I'm cook every day to say, no, no. I'm... Ah, ya se terminó. All right, all right, guys. Thank you, thank you. Let me have one volunteer. Quiero escuchar un voluntario. One volunteer, read your examples. One volunteer, que quiera leer los ejem sus ejemplos. One volunteer. Only one. Only one volunteer. One volunteer, please. One Me teacher. volunteer. All right. Marlene, let me hear your examples. Okay. All example. Yes. Okay. Number one is I use my book for doing the homework. Um, that I try to call with my cell phone today. I go running to the park every day. I do exercise to be healthy. I'm, I am studying for, for a test. Um, it's impossible to go back to the school. I do not need to get angry with this person. My son used the computer for doing the homework. I buy a car for traveling to work. He is living here for five years ago. Okay, all right. Uh, everything was correct. Uh, solo la última. Uh, vamos a decir, he has been living here for five years. He has, he has been living here for five years. Oh, you can say he moved 
here five years ago. Okay. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. I got to go. See you tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Mañana, Bye. mañana Bye. es el día del maestro. Ah, yeah. Pero siempre <laughs> hay clases. Siempre hay clases. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, teacher. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.